Welcome back, friends. Last Scarf here, and it's time for Scarf Plays Help Will Come Tomorrow, developed by Arclight Studios, uh, published by Clubatter. We've seen their games in the past, and uh, here's another one for them. It's uh, given to us by the developer and the publisher, $20 game on Steam, I assume also on Switch, and it came out a week ago, and I think it's like a survival story game, so let's go. Help Will Come Tomorrow. So in the Scarf Plays, we spend about 20-ish minutes looking at a game, see if we want to do more on it. And if we really, really like it, we'll recommend it on the main channel. It's got to be the best of the best on the main channel, so that's what our goal is here. And we'll see if this is one of those games. Club Batter. Then there's a better way to pronounce that. Mark Lights Creations. Did I say studios? I make creations. <laughs> setting. English tutorial. Yeah, that's good. You can mute it. New game. Let's see. Passenger survivor. Okay. The passenger level is the least demanding experience, allowing you to focus mainly on the story told in the game. Milder in initial condition of the characters. More resource animals in the in the taiga. Less threat and aggression from renegades. Milder weather and events. Survivor level is an optimally balanced experience where the exp aspects of survival and story are equally important. Diversified character traits, initial characteristic condition. Average number of resources and animals in the taiga. Renegades and the weather can give a hard time. Resident of Siberia level is an experience directed to the most persistent players where the aspect of survival and telling the story is extremely demanding. More negative character traits, poor initial character conditions, less resources and animals in the taiga, ruthless renegades, and Siberian weather. Let's choose Survivor. I feel like that's probably the main balanced version so here we go Russia we were all passengers of this speeding train divided into classes quarreled confined in our compartments there was someone's story hidden in each of them War, escape, adventure, fight for change. I think it's post World War One. Subcutaneously, however, we all felt that the end of the, this journey could be what the other journey could be. At that moment, all divisions disappeared. And our stories merge into one. So I wonder if this is random. Out. We barely escaped death. Can you hear the shots? They're killing other survivors. This is a replay from Zemensky Square. The Tsar supporters are opening fire to the proletarians. You're talking nonsense. They are just thugs or deserters. Don't talk so loudly because they'll hear us. We've run a long way. I think we can take a rest here and the snow will cover our footprints. You want to use a manual describing uh, the mechanics of... Yes. The key aspects of the character survival is satisfying their basic needs shown in the form of statuses. Hunger, thirst, frost, and fatigue. Each of them has its own individual effect on the character. To know them, you can hover over their icon. Press A button on the appropriate item from the inventory to pick it up. Oh, see. Alright, yes, this is a PC game. This is your mouse. That's fine. I assume it's touch screen with the, with the thing. I could test that later. So this guy needs water. So, get the water. There you go. We gotta do it again. Yeah, it's on him. Son of a bitch. Okay, do I gotta put on the thing? Oh, you got to be annoying game. Oh, it, I, okay, okay. A. It's on him. Oh, I have to put it on, on him. Okay, okay. Wrong one, put on him. There we go. Great, now let's move on to the character card. To do this, select one of the portraits and panel on the left. Character is a place where all the most important information about each character is located. The window is divided 
into three tabs. We will start from discussing the character section. Each character belongs to one of the three factions, aristocratic, revolutionary, or neutral. A faction affiliation defines the initiality of the character to each other and affects the course of night conversations around the campfire. Traits are the character's unique features. They appear during the game as a result of conversations, actions, or events. They have both positive and negative impacts on the outcome of the character's actions in the camp. Health level can determine how many ailments a character can endure. Decreases, decrease of health to zero means death. Morale means how much conflict and sacrifice a character can endure. High morale makes it possible to regain action points lost in the morning by negative statuses. The morale level can be increased by performing actions corresponding to the character and conducting dialogues in a manner consistent with the beliefs and nature of the character. Current character statuses are also visible in the character card. In addition to the basic statuses discussed earlier, the game has a number of special statuses including, among others, disease, injuries, or mental estates of the characters. They really shouldn't have the arrow above the, over the, the characters. Some of them may have a time limit on a given number of days. Exceptional statuses may prevent from leaving the camp or block some actions. Action points represent the strength and readiness of the character to act. They are used as a result of taking actions in the camp, such as removing snow, building, creating items, cooking, exploring, or caring for other characters. A fully functional character starts the day with three actions. Two negative statuses reduce the number by one. This is where the slot for the character's clothes is located. The quality of its performance reduces the cooling of the character. Next tab as part of the character is the relationship section. Okay, I changed the tab. Okay. Relationship section represents the attitude of the character, select the character toward other team members. Next to the portrait of the given character, there are three statistics specifying this relationship. Trust, friendship, and credit. Share the relationship occurs during joint work and night talks. Relationship affect the quality of jointly performed actions in the course of dialogues. Determines how much one character believes in the good intentions of the others. Increases as the characters spend more time with each other and learn something about their past. Friendship determines how much one character likes the other and wants to spend time with them. Increases when the character perform actions together and agree during conversations. Credit determines how much one character appreciates the skills and competence of the other. Increases when the action performed by that character brings a positive effect. Whoops! Apparently I clicked twice somehow. This section learned about the characters. As a result, night conversations, team members get to know each other better, discovering their stories and motivations. Let's move the, close the card. Okay. To survive, the character will also have to take care of their camp. Within the camp, you can build five structures. Campfire, shelter, workshop, quarantine, and fence. Before building a new camp structure or when it is buried as a result of the weather, the action of removing snow must be carried out. Select the zone where the campfire will be built. This is the camp structure window. Before we can build and develop the camp structure, we need to clear the area where it is to be erected. To do so, you must perform the action to remove snow banks. Let's move on to that. Move on to its overview. Who let a tutorial? Each action in the game represents the action of the characters. Actions include removing snow, building, making items. Okay, yeah, we know that part. Each point is charged with the cost of part. Da, 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 da. Okay, remove snow bank. After removing the snow bank, we will be able to put a camp structure in this place. Optional tool using shovel gives the chance to regain the action point. Currently selected action or removing snow is an action for a single character. It costs one action point. This is the action itself. Uh, uh, removing snow does not involve any resource cost, but it has space for optional tool. Optional tool is not required to perform action, however, if it is present in the camp after clicking the slot, it is possible to add it to the components of the action by using optional tool. There is a small chance of regaining the action points during the action. Erecting new structures increase the overall quality of the entire camp structure. Let's move on to performing a selected action. For that, we need to assign a character a task. Uh, on snow, this is how it's uh, X, so hit X to manage characters. Okay, action for that we need is uh, okay, over there. Okay. This is who we're gonna have to do it, we're gonna have her do it. Okay, accept. As we don't have any additional tools, let's move on to the next action. Press Y. On snow, so she's unsnowing. Alright. So she did it. There we go. 
Action of removing snow unlocked the possibility of erecting camp structures. Each uh, such structure contains development tree and each building individual components unlocks a new type of action and further improvements. Currently selected component makes it possible to perform the action or building's campfire. Okay. Select action can be formed by one or two characters. If the character undertakes construction, the cost for it will be three. Same work performed by two characters, the cost for each will be equal to one point. Relationships can build from doing things together. Especially is good quality. Let's select a pair to do it. So assign one character to do it. And the second. Okay, okay. So X. And then. Ah, balls. I did that wrong. Okay. So we'll have her do it. And then. Ah. Okay. Well, okay, this just got a little weird. Okay, so I have her do it. There we go. There we go. Finally got it to work. Can't accept. Actions or a building can be performed in two ways. Make shift and solid structure. Make shift requires about half the components needed to build the structure, but its quality is much lower. Crazy characters observing the work decreases. Solid structure requires full set of components, but its quality is high. In addition, increases the credit of the builders by people observing the work performed. Build solid campfire from the resources obtained and okay. Perm the action of building the camp where resources belonging to two resource groups are required. Wooden structural elements. To be able to perform the action, the proper no amount of resources from the given resource should be provided. So that's a total strength equals the required group strength. When clicking on the resource group, selecting the inventory, a resource belonging to the given group along with the required number to fill the group strength will appear. Most of our resources in the wood group with a total strength of eight. As a result, removing snow, we found eight sticks, each with one strength in the wood, using all of them. Okay, group strength. Okay. I fill the resources slot with appropriate resource structural materials and equipped group strength six. There we go. Okay, all requirements for forming action have been met. Press Y to build the campfire. character likes to cooperate when they perform an action together with another character they increase their own and their comrades morale this character does not know the tasks entrusted to them the small chance that any action will fail ooh this character has a chance to avoid a negative event during the expedition campers built thanks to working together relations between the care the workers changed Witnesses meeting people present in the camp were happy to see a solid construction. As such, the recognition for the builders increased. After building construction, you get an option to repair. Construction will become damaged by the effects of weather events. Construction's bear wear and tear will is present by a quality bar in the upper right corner. Okay. Begin repair action. Select repair from action list. Now that the campfire has been built, uh, we can light a fire to warm up. Sometimes the fact a burning may be one of the costs of the action. Okay, why can't I go up there and close it? I'm trying to close it. There we go. Perfect. All right. So a problem when you do a PC game and then you go to console is you got to port correctly. And this port is not perfect for sure. Perfect. The area for the campfire has been prepared. Removing snow, we found some resources lying in the snow. You can view them in the materials section of the inventory panel. Inventory is divided into three sections. Food, beverages, building materials, and equipment and tools. Select materials section. Light the fire. Use the fallen needles. Nettles. Needles. Uh, look at the thing. Uh, okay. Press A. Characters are warmed up now, but everything has a price. 
Our needs and needs further is moving around the area will be attracted to our camp by its visibility. The visibility of the camp apart from the campfire level is influenced by the number of people in the camp and current weather. To reach your visibility, you can lower the camp by lower fire by clicking the minus button icon next to the campfire. It will then be reduced by five. Weather. Apart from the impact on the visibility of the camp affects the condition of the characters. Chances of losing the expedition and camp structures every day, e.g. by covering them or damaging them and affecting their quality. Camp morale means how consistent, determined, and loyal are, are the people in the camp. Improving the dual character morale and relationships during conversations between them increases the camp morale. Camp morale has a significant impact on the, cor on the course of some events. Knowing the base gameplay as much as use as much action points as possible. When you want to end the day phase, press a button in the upper right corner or press R to begin night phase. Okay, and tear his dialogues. Okay, nothing here. Two hunger characters. This guy's in shock. He has indigestion, some drinks, some amount. Hunger. Okay, let's check our food. Wow, we don't have any food. Driving tools. So we have drink. Slight thirsting decrease and frost decrease. Because I have one, she's not used to the hardships of real life. Character takes everything personally, their morale constantly drops. Team worker, but they're incompetent. Weird. He's a neutral. Usually the character has lower confidence than all other characters. Whew. Sturdy boy looks like he's been in military service since recently. Survivalist. <sighs> Bearded man has not stopped talking since he escaped. You escaped the crash. Uh, do that again. See the crash. He doesn't look like a scholar, rather a radicalized person. So one of each group. Uh, two neutrals. Okay. One of impressive and well groomed mustache looks like a foreigner. Palisade. Oh, defense. Mm, lessons workshop. Say work on a shelter. Remove the snowbank. Don't have an item, so character. Unsnow. So unsnow records just one person, okay. Simple lining. So we don't have enough to make it, do we? We should continue to just unsnow things. Okay, have him do it. Unsnow. Okay, now we gotta know if we can make a, a thing. Okay, strong. Carry strong and gets tired more slowly. Oh, that's good. Okay, so now we have enough to make a shelter. So how much is solid? Solid requires... Oh, we don't have enough. Forget it. Okay, so let's go ahead and unsnow the quarantine point. There you go. Unsnow. Definitely need more needles. Helen Snow. 
So he's all out of things. So I can do it by the campfire. So make sure I put a water filter, a pot, seats. So solid requires this. I'm gonna at least do a makeshift. So okay, let's do a makeshift. Make it him. And then make it him. Wow, they don't like each other. Jesus, nobody likes each other. Makes sense. Okay, there we go. Just had them work. Five morale. Okay, ten and five. Ten and ten. So ten and five. Much better. Or I move that to being her. Okay, she gets along. She gets along better. That's not so bad. Not so bad. Okay, so have them do it. So upgrade. Okay, people felt much. Of Character has a chance to recover AP while making clothing in this on the sack. Okay. Chance to avoid negative effect or an expedition. Okay. So we're done there. What more can I do? Just look at this again. Simple lining, isolated bed. Hmm, anything I can do with that cost just one AP? There's just so much a character can do in a day, I guess. Alright, so he's just gonna have AP he doesn't use. So I can't do three with anything. Go to nighttime. Reduce the fatigue at the end day. Oh, I wish I realized that. All right, end day. Wish I knew that. Okay. When not sleeping, the characters sitting at the fire have conversations with each other. During one night, you can start two topics. Each topic is an opportunity to get to know the character better, discover their traits, or change the relationship between their inter interlocutors. Some guys can unblock new topics or even tasks related to the characters. Select one of the above topics to start a conversation. So you Edward's introduction. But yeah, what an adventure. Almost like 1910 when Azerbaijani fighters derailed my train. Or as in Wadi Hafi, 1902, only then it was the boiler that exploded. Have you ever participated in many rail disasters, mister? Okay, so got some trust. Gray, Edward Gray. Indeed, I had, I've had many adventures. I got a headache every time, okay. He's a brave man. Looks likely to be shocked. Okay. Try to avoid only those in which nobody survives. So people trust him. All right. And his introduction. I'm cold. Get me, get me out of here. Maybe you'd like some caviar. I beg your pardon. Nice and less. <laughs> Easy, miss. A bit of humor would do har no harm in the situation. Humor? I'm present the bone. Please do something. My poor Vera. She would bring me my fur now and she would brew chai with a rock. Are those butchers all my poor Vera and Aunt Naska? Crying won't bring them back to life. You should worry about yourself now. Alright, she likes him more now. Why did we leave St. Petersburg? We should have stayed at the estate of Prince Yuchansky. Oh, Auntie, I should have accepted his proposal. Okay, people trust her more now. Okay. Okay, she likes him less. She likes that guy more. <laughs> Things are happening. All right, okay. All right, getting a whole lot of summary here. 
Are we just learning what they feel of each other after all the duties they've done, I guess? Cat morale went negative after all that. Brag, let's brag. Initially, they gain more trust, but you regularly lose it during the game. Ah! This character is not like the friendship of other characters towards them constantly decreases. Ah! Trust and friendship towards this character increases at first, but then they constantly decrease. Another one? Humbug? Renegades have withdrawn from the crash site, so it's now safe to, s to leave the camp. To send expeditions for the purpose of obtaining new resources and exploring nearby areas, press the L button to upper, upper left corner. For press. Okay. Map screen is where you will manage expeditions. Send out a team to expedition. Expedition preparation window is a place where you decide who and with what equipment you send to the field. Extend Expedition is an action with a cost for one or two characters equal to one action per character. Two expeditions have lower risk of getting lost. Current state of relationship between the characters participating in both positive and negative effects. Okay. Assign two characters. Okay. I will if you let me. Alright. Have the survivalist go. And that's him. Uh, go back, go back. I meant to have the oh, okay. Search this area. I meant to have two characters go. This is not great. Yeah, uh, yeah, all right. Uh. You can tell between a good port and a bad port. This is the latter, obviously. Ah, all right. Bad ports can try the patience. Okay, let's just start over. Uh, okay, let's see. I got because we got to do that again. Hopefully, it's saved so I can do that next day two. Hopefully, hopefully. That doesn't recognize my controllers. Okay, let's start that over again. Oh, don't make these unskippable. Oh, don't make these unskippable. Okay, so. Continue. Ah, bad ports hurt my soul. I get it. I get it. Porting isn't easy. It's not easy in any way. But, ugh. You don't just go to release if your port's bad. Give it some time if you have to. That's just what happens. Some companies are like, okay, well, our, the ports can take some time to come out. That's something that happens. You'll see that with some games. They're like, the port's not finished. Uh, we'll release it later. When you release a port poorly, it's not good. It's not good. Okay, let's do this again. Good. Okay. Expedition. Send two characters. So I'm going to send him. There we go. That's not who I want to send. Oh God, is that not who I want to send? Okay. Oh, I don't have a choice. Yeah, that's great. Found currently selected. Selected. Uh, here you can see the characters included in the expedition. Be the inventory or perform the search actions. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna have them search the area. So have them search here. Every move on the map increases the risk of getting lost of the expedition and can force its members to stay overnight in the forest. Bad weather increases the risk apart from the move. The level of getting lost risk increases during performance of the zone ser researching uh, searching action. Perform searching. Events are special moments in the game that can appear randomly. They can be results of dialogue, character stories, critical characters, morale findings on the map, or a conversation with the renegades or wild animals. Events can relate to one or more characters. This is important. This is the portrait of the main character to whom the the event uh, description applies for, or the person making a decision. Additional characters taking part in the event are presented as portraits arranged in the line below the event title. During the event, or as a consequence of choices made, relationships, relations, statuses, life points, and morale of the characters may change. 
For an event, you will have to make many, often difficult choices. Some of them may require perfect traits, or having specific items in the characters or the camp's equipment to be able to choose them. Alright. At this time of year, you don't find the toadstools often, but the abundant red mycelium visible on the barren glade seems to mock nature's rules. However, these dangerous mushrooms do not move even in the hungriest animals. But the animals don't prepare food before eating. Maybe proper drying and boiling will remove the toxin. In these conditions, it's really hard to ignore the, such a large supply of potential food. Take the toadstools with you. In this window, you can see... Uh, uh, you can see collect items collected in the zone. X take everything. Y smooth and equipment. That's picking up the items recipe. Okay. Continue. Take them all. There we go. Note that the search action, in addition to the risk of getting lost, has also increased the level of zone threat. The higher the zone threat level, the more interested it will be in in it will the renegades be, whereas wild animals will avoid it. You can return the expedition. Continue the expedition. When you feel that it's safe to return to the camp, you can either move manually through the zones or press B. Okay. Oh, hey, take all that. Okay, so they've run out of energy. Okay, so it's time to go back. It's time to come back. There we go. They got a good amount of things. So go back. Okay, so they want to spend some energy. The fire needs more. Pine cones are only good for fuel. Okay, people are getting hungry. Berries, okay. Who will eat the bugs? Oh, this is about him. Yeah, okay. I just want to know if he would eat the bugs. Probably didn't enjoy that. Same. Okay. So. No, no, no. Don't end the day. Okay, so we can do some building here. So we can build up the fire, maybe. Okay. So let's see here. Small water filter. Makeshift seats. Additional frost protection. Well, is there? Oh, how's frost protection looking for everyone? Well, no one seems to be frosty right now, so I don't have to worry about. Fr okay, she's getting frosty. So I guess frost protection is important. So frost protection. Mm hmm Okay, they need to they need to get together better. Okay, so Okay, let's see if we can do solid. Oh, we can't do solid, can we? Nope. We can't do makeshift either, can we? No, we can. There's not enough rags. So we need more rags. Okay, how about the workshop? Hmm. 
can make a basic workshop, it looks like. It's taking a lot of wood to do this. Oh, I don't have enough rope. Okay, can't do that yet. About the shelter. Can we upgrade the shelter? Simple cover might be doable. Okay, so now we just gotta put people. Okay, there we go. Now we have them work together. Do it! These survival games are always interesting, but they can be a bit clunky, like right now. It's better. Alright, so have everyone rest. Day two now. Have more characters introduce themselves in my thought. Have him introduce. You coming back from the front, soldier? Me, I'm not a soldier. So a scholar or a priest, perhaps? The farmhand would not be in the train compartment. I admit that in our situation, I would be very happy to have any military person with us. Uh, this is the past. My division ceased to exist. Fighting is still going on. Do you believe that the provisional government will soon sign a ceasefire? They can sign whatever they want. The next government will tear the paper. The war will probably never end. Only the battlefields and banners change. Go to the devil with all this. Alright. Now the introduction. Coward's misery. Fate has put us under a difficult test. I appeal. Let us rise above divisions. Socialist. This character rejects capitalism and promotes the idea of social justice. In the face of danger, everyone, a frivolous, aggressive, greedy, burgoyce, or a dumb peasant, must unite and cooperate. Was that frivolous about me? Today we say no to divisions, no matter if you vomited oysters yesterday or cleaned up the vomit. That's too much. Woe to us if at this critical moment we give in to prejudices. Or expect special treatment. I say this especially to you, Anna. I will keep an eye on you. Alright. Okay. Feelings have changed. Morale has gone down. So it's just holding just fighting the heavy snow. So what does heavy snow mean? Well, it's nasty. It's blowing and snowing. All day. It's better not to leave the camp to protect against the wind. It is worth building. Shelter walls are surrounding the camp with a palisade. Pine cone. Make arrows with those? Hmm. There, yeah, get the fire good enough. People are getting really hungry. So, how about them mushrooms? Can't cook them yet. Try eating it. Careful can digest almost anything. Indigestion and poisoning lasts a, a shorter time. Oh wow. He was able to handle it. Alright, so everyone's getting sick of the mushrooms. The only guy who can handle it is him. So we had to cook it first, but oops, what's this? He's got hallucinations going on. Oh wow, okay. So now I want to see something. So return to menu. I want to see whether or not it's randomly generated characters or if it's just these four. Because you see that guy, so it seems like it'd be more characters. Yeah, overwrite. Multiple files would be great. Looks like that's not an option here. Which is too bad because, come on, survival game, you want to just try out different things. All right, different characters. Two of the same, two different ones. Let's 
get that. No, 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 get out of that. So we got these two different characters. So I'm assuming there's at least one lady every time, or is going to sound as possible. Old lady looks like she had been one foot in the grave before the train derailed. Ouch. Distressful. All right. Then this guy is... Tsumichi Sokolov. He's hurt. Distressful as well. Ah, come, on. come on, get off that thing. This man looks like a high-ranking officer. There's determination in his eyes. Also, whatever the hell that is. So people don't always start with three points, it looks like. All right. Twisted ankle? Oh, jeez. We'll start a blimp permanently. Dark in a few days. All right. Interesting. In shock. So that affects their stats. Oh, I start with the water, though, and the nuts. Okay. I want to see another group. I want to see some of the other characters. I spent 40 minutes on this game? Wow. That was a lot of reading the tutorial. We'll stop in a minute. I just want to see other characters. Okay, so two, two, two dudes, two ladies. Maria, so revolutionist. Shenko, it was a maid on the train you were going. She was a maid on the train. He's aristocracy. She's aristocracy. He's neutral. So you can have a mix. All right, okay. I was wondering if they would try to do like a neutral, like a balance, but looks like no. You can have it not balanced. Interesting. So, all right. This is gonna take some research to do, but I'm really not liking. It's not a very good port. Is unfortunate. It's not perfect. All right. Well, we'll see. I hopefully there's a patch to help with the port. But that right there is the game for now. I had fun. Hope you have fun watching. That's what's all about, is it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.